Hey everyone, Steven here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a piston-powered airplane in Minecraft. It's able to move in two directions, and it's got its own weapon system, so I'll jump into it, show you what it can all do, and then I'll show you how to build it later on. Alright, so a key feature of a plane is that it has to be able to move in the air. Now, I've basically just outlaid, using this white wool, the dimensions of where the airplane is currently, and so we'll go ahead and move it using the engines. It's a very simple system to use and I'll explain it all later on. So, all we do is place a block there, lever, and that advances us one position. So we can see the whole plane has been shifted to the right once, and just to prove that we can keep on doing this indefinitely, I'll do it once more. And now we're two blocks ahead, as you can see like that. Um, and now I'll just quickly run through the weapon system. There's a couple of ways you can unleash a bit of force. You can either use the arrows and shoot them through the half slab blocks here. Or alternatively, you can use the TNT cannons. So you aim where you want, place a block, place a button, or if you prefer a little bit more power with the lever, you can do whatever you like. <laughs> I'm not too fast. We'll press the button, goes down, watch it go down and yeah just stuff up an NPC village <laughs> or whatever you like to do <laughs> whatever suits you fancy and we'll do it one more time and you can keep on shifting moving wherever you want and yeah just bombing targets so that's how that works and I'll show you how the whole system works okay so the way the engine system works is relatively easy to understand all it is is a push and pull mechanism so basically what you do is you have a non-sticky piston on the outside and a sticky piston on the inside of the ship and they're facing each other like that and basically what you do is you turn on the non-sticky piston first then you turn it off so it's pushed the sticky piston forward by one position then we go to the sticky, position, sticky piston turn it on then turn it off and the whole plane is now shifted forward by one and then you just keep on repeating that process so it's just on with the non-sticky pistons, off, on with the sticky pistons, then off. And if you want to go the opposite way, it's the exact same process, just put the non-sticky pistons on the outside, sticky pistons on the inside, and go for it. And there we are, we're back to the normal position. And now I'll just show you how this same exact same process applies to the six rings. Basically what we've got here is these six here are all non-sticky pistons, as you can see there, and the six on this side are all sticky. And what you do, once you've got that shape, you just place a block there on where the non-stick pistons are, put a lever, push them all forward, place a block on the sticky pistons, get a lever, and you've gone forward by one block. And that's how the engines work. Okay, next up is the material you want to use for your floor, which is stairs. It can be any type of stairs. The, what it's made up of doesn't make a difference. But the reason that we're doing that and not using any blocks like wool or stone or wood is because of this. When the piston is extended, you're going to fall right through like that. So pre to prevent you from falling to your death, use stairs. And the way stairs fix this is when you've got a stair, you're at the top of the stair at the moment, but when you extend, you fall down to the second level, so it catches your fall. Then you just got to shift your position by one, so stand back up, you're on top of it again, and you're good to go for the next extension of the pistons. Another thing that you want to keep in mind is the fact that a piston will not extend a length of blocks which is longer than 12. So what I mean by that is at the moment, we're on the threshold of 12, so we'll be able to extend. But once we reach 13 blocks in length, the piston no longer operates. So that means this airplane will no longer move. So this dictates what the maximum size of the ship can be. You can only have it so that the whole ship, including the pistons, is going to be two here, so the two pistons there, a body of nine blocks, and then two pistons at the end. So that makes a 13 block long ship. When we use the TNT cannons, we place a block with the button so that the TNT will drop straight down and explode 
And the reason we do this is will be pretty clear once you see what happens here. If you've just got the two TNT on the side and you place a redstone torch to activate them, sometimes they'll go straight down. But other times, they'll get stuck inside the ship. And that's something you don't want like this. <laughs> you definitely don't want it. So make sure you're using a block and press the button and you'll be all good every time. Okay, so now that we've gone through all the factors that you should take into consideration to build a nice, good, functional, piston-powered aircraft in Minecraft, we'll make start on just building a ship. The way I like to build them is have a body of 7 long, just to keep it nice and symmetrical. So yeah, we'll go ahead and build it. If you're building this in survival mode, a nice way to build it is just go to the top of a mountain, pick the direction that you want your plane to head in, and just take it from there. Um, when I get started on building it, what I like to do is just place down the ring of pistons first. That way it will just give you a structure of where to build the rest of your ship from. Then just extend out lines of glass. Okay, so we got that done. Now we want to make the floor. So just grab your stairs. Put those along there. And now we'll just add in the pistons where required. These are the sticky pistons, so we'll pull the plane back into the place that it has to go. And we'll repeat that exact same structure on the opposite side now. There we go. Now just l let's add in the features of the ship. So add in some windows. This will let us shoot out our bows if we want it. Right in the center, I like to put a glass block so we can easily see where we want to aim the TNT. Put the TNT on the side of the ship and take a look at it. Make sure all the blocks are filled so that way the ship will move properly. That looks like it's all good to go. And now just basically give it a test run. Make sure it works. Always test everything you build. Make sure it does what it's meant to. That seemed like it worked pretty well. And it did. Everything's moved forward. And that's how we build our airplane in Minecraft. I hope that you all liked and enjoyed watching this little tutorial of how to build a piston-powered airplane in Minecraft. Um, whether you use this design for good or evil, it's up to you. Um, in the future though, I'm going to be showing off a couple of more designs, um, so stay tuned in for those. And also a big thanks goes out to all the team at the Minecraft forums who did, there's an awesome thread, I'll chuck it in the description of the video, it's just awesome, everyone's been trying to build an automatic plane in Minecraft, so I thought I'd show you the taste of one. You can't build an automatic plane with the current features of the game, hopefully something changes to the point where we can make this system automatic in, so it's nice and fast. But yeah, take care, and have a good one.